Our reading skills for today are fact and opinion and main idea. Let's take a look at our objectives. We are learning to distinguish between facts and opinions in a text, explain how an author uses reasons and evidence to support opinions, and finally, Summarize important ideas and explain how they are supported by facts and opinions. Let's jump on in. What is a fact? Do you know? Pause here to think about that. Facts. A fact is a statement that can be proved true by checking a reference book or other resource. This is something that can be proven. Here are some examples. Cows are mammals. Well, we know that mammals are any warm-blooded creature that has fur. That's easy to prove that a cow is warm-blooded and has fur. The Declaration of Independence was signed on July 4th, 1776. We can easily prove this to be true by taking a look at the Declaration of Independence and checking the date that it was signed. This historical event is even described in many history textbooks. One last example, five times four equals 20. I'm sure you boys and girls would be able to show me five equal groups of four items to prove that five times four equals 20. These examples here can all be proven true. That is how we know they are facts. Now, what about an opinion? What is an opinion? Pause here to think about that. Opinions. An opinion is a statement that expresses a thought or belief. Everyone can have their own thoughts and their own beliefs. There's no right or wrong opinion. Let's take a look at some examples. Purple is the best color. Well, while some people might believe that purple is the best color, I actually believe that olive green is the best color. Neither example is right or wrong. Pineapple on pizza is delicious. Believe it or not, I actually had a disagreement with a friend on this. My friend thinks that pineapple does not belong on pizza. Neither of us are right or wrong. We just have different opinions. Finally, math is difficult. Some students find math very easy, while others find it very challenging. Just differences in opinions, differences in thoughts and beliefs. In the comment section, I want you to share one fact about yourself and one opinion that you have about anything and everything. Go ahead, pause right here to leave that in the comment section. All right, since you guys shared, I'll go ahead and share. One fact that I have about myself is that I am very crafty. One opinion that I have is that cheesecake is the best dessert ever. I can't wait to read your facts and opinions. What I want you guys to keep in mind is that great writers and authors can use facts to write powerful opinions. I did say that no one can have a right or wrong opinion, but we can make our opinions much more powerful by supporting them with facts. So let's take a look at how we can use facts to support our opinions. Opinion. Winter is the best time of year to play outside. Let's support that with a fact that can be proven true about winter. In winter, you can go sledding, make snowmen, and have snowball fights because of the snow. 
that's a true fact that can be proven. And it only helps support my opinion that winter is the best time of year to play outside. Here's another example. Kids should read in the summer. Let's support this with some facts so that I can persuade you kids to read more in the summer. Supporting facts. Reading helps you learn new things, and some studies show that kids who read during the summer perform better on tests. This fact only makes my opinion stronger. Let's take a deeper look. I know that this is a fact because I can prove using the study that kids' test scores are higher when they read. And I know that this is an opinion because it is my belief or my own personal thought that kids should be reading during the summer. Let's take a look at some facts and opinions from coming attractions. I want you to think whether or not these statements are a fact or an opinion. Movies are fun. Think about this, fact or an opinion. Can you prove it to be true or is this somebody's personal belief? If you said opinion, you are correct. Fight scenes are thrilling to see. Fact or opinion. If you said opinion, you are correct. Some people might not be interested in fight scenes when watching a movie, so it might not be thrilling for them. But to others, it could be very thrilling and exciting to see. Movie critics get to see movies before the public. Fact or opinion? If you said fact, you are correct. We can prove that movie critics do get time to watch a movie before they are released in movie theaters. This allows them time to write their review. The best movie ever is Star Wars. Fact or opinion? If you said opinion, you are correct. This is definitely an opinion my dad would have, but I would have to disagree with him. I used to fall asleep when he put these movies on when I was a kid. Sorry to you Star Wars lovers out there. Movie studios advertise their movies. Fact or opinion? If you said fact, you are correct. In order for movie studios to attract viewers, they have to advertise their movies. You wouldn't want to see a movie you've never heard about, would you? Let's take a look at this diary entry. See if you can spot some facts and opinions. Dear Diary, Mondays are the worst day ever. It was raining very hard this morning, and the weatherman said it was the highest rainfall day of the year. Boys and girls, I already spot one opinion supported by a fact. Did you spot it? I'm sure you identified that Mondays are the worst day ever as someone's opinion. And that the rain on that Monday was the highest rainfall of the year? as a fact. Good job. Let's keep reading this diary entry. I really hate rain because sometimes my socks get wet inside my shoes. Factor opinion for that statement. I would definitely say it's an opinion. Some people do enjoy the rain. This author here hates the rain. Personally, I used to love running outside in thunderstorms, racing my sister in the backyard. We didn't care that our socks got wet inside our shoes. We were just having fun. At least until my parents yelled at us to come back inside. Let's keep reading. At school, I learned that the Civil War started in 1861, and New Jersey was part of the Union. It was actually pretty interesting to learn about the war. 
I see both a fact and an opinion here. Can you identify them? That's right. A fact is that I learned the Civil War started in 1861 and New Jersey was part of the Union. These are things that we can prove to be true using a resource like a history book or doing any other research online. And the opinion is that it was actually pretty interesting to learn about the war. How do we know that that is an opinion? Well, that's right. Some people might not be interested in learning about the war, why others might be intrigued and drawn in. Let's finish this diary entry. Anyway, I have to go downstairs to eat macaroni and cheese for dinner, which is the best dinner ever. Sincerely, me. Now, I see that that last statement is an opinion. Can you tell me why that last statement is an opinion? Pause here and think about that. Correct. While I agree with this author that macaroni and cheese is the best dinner ever, some people might disagree. Let's talk about how facts and opinions show the main idea. The main idea is what the text is mostly all about. And the main idea is supported by details, usually facts and opinions. These facts that support the main idea usually get more information about the main idea. Some clues to help you are looking at the titles, headings, even any repeated words, and the pictures. So to help you identify the main idea, you're going to want to look at facts, opinions, concepts and ideas shared by the author, titles and headings, and what the author discusses over and over. This is going to help you identify the main idea, which is what the text is mostly all about. Let's practice. Here's an excerpt from Coming Distractions, Questioning Movies. Mixing up a movie. It takes a lot of ingredients to mix up a film. These ingredients all have to work together to keep us in our seats. Why does that matter? Well, if we aren't interested, we won't buy the products featured in the film or tell our friends to buy tickets. In a movie, we only see what the camera sees, and movie makers use this to their advantage. In a scene in Jaws, the director wanted the shark's point of view, so the camera became the shark. When the shark moved, the camera was panned. We don't see the shark, but we know it's after the swimmer. Let's take a look at this paragraph here. What is the main idea? Meaning, what is this paragraph mostly all about? Pause here to think about that. That's right. This paragraph is all about how an audience can only see what the camera sees. Now, what fact or details help support this main idea? Can you find a fact that the author shared to show us that the audience only sees what the camera sees? Correct. He gave the example from the movie Jaws that the audience sees the swimmer from the shark's point of view. So the camera is acting as a shark and we can only see what the shark would be able to see in this situation. Let's keep reading. The position of the lights can tell us a lot about what is happening. A character in a well-lit area is safe and happy. When a person's face is half in a shadow, half in a light, we know that she is doing something evil. What is the main idea of this paragraph? What is this paragraph mostly all about? Pause here to think of that. That's right. This paragraph tells us that different types of lighting have different effects. Now, can we find a supporting fact that 
helps show this main idea or supports this main idea. That's right, the author gives us an example and a fact that when a person's face is half in a shadow and half in light, we know that that character is doing something evil. That's a fact that we see in many different movies. Let's keep reading. Movie makers use CGI, computer generated imagery, to keep the action going. Dangerous or imaginary scenes can be digitally created to look like anything they want. The character column from the Lord of the Rings trilogy was made using CGI. What is the main idea of this paragraph? What it is mostly all about? Pause here to think of that. That's right. The main idea of this paragraph is that CGI keeps the action going. Can we support that with a fact from the author? We sure can. The author gave the fact of the character of Gollum in The Lord of the Rings was created using CGI. It'd be very hard to keep the action going if that character wasn't created using CGI. Boys and girls, it is now your turn. You will show your understanding of fact and opinion by reading a short passage on Google Classroom. Then you'll click and drag statements from that passage into the correct column, either fact or opinion. At the end, you will answer this question. How can you use facts to make powerful opinions? Don't forget to restate. Start with a capital letter and a restated sentence. Don't forget to add your text evidence as well.